I remember before my first race at the CIS Championships, I was standing behind the blocks, and even though I made the exact same time standard as everyone else there, the girl beside me was looking at me with a look on her face of sympathy, and it was like, good for you. <laughs> and it bothered me a little bit, but it actually worked in my favor, because while she was busy feeling sorry for me, she didn't notice when I flew past her in the race. <laughs> the best moment of this meet was walking past her and her coach and him saying, do you realize you were just beat by a girl with one leg? <laughs> and I just walked by like, awesome. <laughs> my teammates also made this meet very special for me. Even though my times were not going to advance to the final, they knew there was an opportunity for me to set a world record for my para category at the meet. And they were up and down the pool deck cheering for me as if it was the Olympic final. They were always so supportive of me, whether it was as a Vike or a Paralympic athlete. My favorite memory of a teammate uh, from my years as a varsity athlete was with my friend Naomi. And during the middle of the season, we had gone to the gym to do a workout. And she was leading us through a circuit, and part of the circuit was to do some skipping. And so we started skipping, and she said, OK, now just skip on your left leg. And I kept skipping because I thought it was a joke, and I thought she was, she was being funny. And then a minute later, with a dead straight, serious face, she said, OK, now switch to your right. <laughs> and I just stopped and looked at her. And it took her a minute, but she realized what she said, and she burst out laughing. It's such a funny story, but it means so much to me because it made me realize that my teammates saw me as a whole person. I was missing one leg, but they didn't see that I was missing anything. And it was my favorite thing in the world when they forgot that I had one leg. I qualified for the 2004 Paralympic Games in my second year as a varsity athlete. I was heading to Athens, Greece. I remember in the athlete's village before my first race, I was checking my email and I went onto the UFIC website. And there I was, my face on the front page. And every single day of the competition, my results were being posted for the entire university to see. Even though behind the blocks, I was wearing a Canada cap and not a Vikes cap, I felt the entire university behind me. And every time I raced, I knew the support that I had from the university and this community. I came home with eight medals and a world record. <laughs> Thank you. After a short break of the Paralympics, I was ready to dive into my second season as a CIS athlete. This year, we had a new goal. I didn't want to just qualify for the CIS championships. I wanted to be competitive. I wanted to make a final swim. I'd made the standard early on in the season, so I was already way ahead of where I'd been the year before. So when we landed in Edmonton, I felt like I was on my way to making that final swim. It had been lucky because I had ended up having uh, my preliminary swim against a very good friend of mine, Lauren Daniels. And we were behind the blocks, just joking around and having a great time. But somehow, the media found out that a girl with one leg had qualified for the CIS standards. And so before we knew it, there were cameras in our face. And I remember turning to my friend Lauren and saying to her, I'm sorry, there's no way I can let you beat me. There's a camera here, and I'm a world record holder. <laughs> and she turned back to me, and she said, I'm sorry, there's no way I can let you beat me. There's a camera here, and I have twice the number of legs that you have. <laughs> and we just fell on the ground laughing. And from the beginning, I knew this was going to be a great race. So we jumped in the water. Lauren ended up out touching me, but I had set a world record for my para category. So I guess that kind of made up for the fact that she beat me. <laughs> um, this definitely goes down as my favorite race of all time, because not only were we having such a great time, but we came out with amazing races. We both qualified for the semifinal at the CIS Championships. I was ecstatic. I'd set a world record. I had gotten my final swim. And after having a bunch of inter interviews with the media, I went to go talk to my coach, Peter. I was over the moon excited. And he looked at me and he said, good job, but I really think your third turn could have been better. <laughs> and I absolutely loved that I could set a world record and he could still find something for me to improve upon. He was always pushing me forward to be better. And I honestly think this is the attitude that allows people to succeed past a single goal and really succeed for their entire life. Every goal that is reached turned into a stepping stone for the next goal. 
I came home from this CIS Championships with a 15th place finish and a title of All-Canadian. I've been recognized my entire life for my accomplishments as a para-athlete. But when I came to this university, I wanted to put all labels aside and just be a varsity athlete. After these CIS championships, I was, for the first time in my life, a, uh, recognized for my accomplishments as an athlete, period, with no labels, no categories. I was named two years in a row the UVic Athlete of the Year. These were some of the proudest moments of my entire life. And looking back, I honestly believe that the only way anyone, including myself, can succeed at their goals is because somebody gives them an opportunity and to have people believe in you. I believe that everybody, no matter what challenges you face, deserves the right to be able to chase after their dreams. There was never a question in this university's eyes that they were going to support me in any dream, any goal that I had. And I honestly believe that they're a trendsetter that way. I believe, as far as I know, that this university is the only university to have given the title of Athlete of the Year to a Paralympic athlete. I will leave this university with some of the best friends of my entire life, amazing memories, the knowledge uh, that I have strengths that I didn't even know that I have, a better understanding of myself, eight Paralympic medals, five world records, two titles of Athlete of the Year, and Really, I guess the most important thing is I became the best swimmer that I could be, and I saw the kind of person I want to be. By recognizing how important the role of the people at this university played in my life in believing in me and supporting me in my dreams, I now realize that that is the exact role that I want to play in other people's lives. And so I would like to thank every person here for supporting this university and this athletic program, because I wouldn't be the person I am today without it. Thank you very much.